Hey everybody, this is Ori from Master Web, and I'm going to introduce to you a tool we use for SEO keyword tracking called SERP Robot. Uh, it's a very simple, affordable way to track your keywords. We use it for a few years now, and uh, just wanted to show you a little bit about the concept, what's going on. Okay, so right now I'm logged into the back end. This is a paid uh, uh, account, and uh, what I'm doing is I'm monitoring the different websites that I want to track. So each one of these is considered a project, right? So I have a website, uh, for example, I have my, my website right here, uh, Astro Web US, and I'm monitoring certain keywords, right? So it's, it's specifying where am I monitoring, so which account, Google Yahoo, Google US, Google Taiwan, Google uh, France, et cetera, et cetera, right? And they, the, just the settings itself, so what am I tracking, okay? And then here I have all of my keywords with my ranking. So uh, before I go into detail, I wanna go back for a second and create a new project so you see how it looks, okay? So for example, I wanna, have a new project called Astro Web, and I'm going to monitor my website, astroweb.com. Okay, and I'm going to select the region here. For example, I want Google, um, whatever, Google US, right? So for me, I'm just going to have google.com, but if I want a different country, I could do that. And here I'm going to specify the keywords I want to track right here, right? So either I can have one by one. So for example, Magento developer is one of my terms. Okay, or what I like to do is I like to, I like instead of doing one by one, I like to do the keywords by bulk and just do them line by one, Magento, um, agency, Magento, etc. right? So I'm gonna do one by one by one by one. Once I do that, I can click on add project. And when you add project, they actually appear here, okay? So um, once I do that, I have right here my section. So let me show you how the keywords look, what's going on. So first you have a simple summary about the average position, how many of your keywords have uh, improved, how many are top three, top 10, top 30, top 100. And here, you have the keyword right here, and then you have here uh, the latest, right? What is the current ranking? So for example, I'm on page two, number 13. This is my, you know, the best it's ever been since I've been tracking. Uh, and then I have here the, the once, it, once I created the, the keyword, what was it first in here? And then what is the search volume based on the Google Ads uh, data, right? So you can also sort right here. So I, for example, this is the biggest, most popular one. It has 74,000 searches a month based on Google data. When was it last updated? And if it finds actual ranking, for example, this is on page two, what page in my domain is actually ranking for that? Because sometimes you don't want that specific page to rank. You want something else, okay? I can recheck it and I can check the charts, etc. So if I click here, for example, I can see based on page two, who are the competitors? Who are ranking 13, 14, etc.? What's happening? And I can see the growth. Has it been going up in rankings, down in rankings? And has it changed? So for example, minus one means last time it checked, for example, yesterday, it was ranking number 15. It went now minus one to 14. So minus is actually better ranking because you eventually want to get to zero, which is your best thing. Plus one is actually getting worse, okay? And what was the best? So that's it, that's really, really simple. I have some basic graphs, I don't really use them too much, but basically you can see how they go up and down. Uh, and the other thing that I use right here is the export of data. So if I want to use it in CSV, I can uh, basically export right here, and I can see all my data. Let me click here on export. And I can just see all the data I can reuse in Google Drive, uh, Google Sheets, or Excel, et cetera. And I can, you know, format it, make it into reports, all that kind of stuff, right? So you can see a little bit more data, for example, the, the co it cost per click in Google, not just the search volume and all that. So you have a little more data in the export, but uh, it's really simple. So that's, that's really it. I mean, it's really simple. Um, Serp Robot has a pretty good price, actually a very good price, it's very cheap. Uh, for checks, but really depends on how many checks you want. You're going to pay more money if you have more or less checks. Um, and they have their pricing. Not sure what it is, but you guys can check, right? SERP, robot. Um, you guys can check. I, I personally like it. It does the job for a very, very cheap price. Um, we've been using it for a while. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. You can check the pricing, all that kind of stuff. And that's it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.